Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Want to go a little bit faster, I want to bring it back over here. So there's the bit here, and I want to change this. I've now gotten rid of the bunker silo that was in there. So then what I want to do is I want to... I don't want the muddy ground. I'm going to go with... Actually, go with that one to start with. Make that smaller. There, there's um, there's leaves. Right, so we've got a little bit concrete there. I'll bring that round. And then we're going to put leaves through here like this. I'm going to get rid of that concrete first. Okay. It's going to go up there like that. Bring it out a little bit further like that. Up there. Then I'm going to go like this. I'm going to do that. And then the muddy area here. I've accidentally gone up over there, which I really, really didn't want to do. But that's done now, so I can at least get rid of some of it. And I'm going to leave this like this. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Put in a couple patches like that. We'll go through once more, and we will get to leaves grass. I'm going to put in a couple solid patches of grass like this and leave it there. I'm not going to do any more than that. Now, over here, I've just gone and messed up one little tiny bit on there. That's not going to matter that bit. So all I need to do to just cure this really is go to the... Not that concrete. No. The concrete that we use. And I'm just going to bring that in... Over there like that, just to correct that little mistake there. I'm a little bit too excited with it right there and carried away. So there's that bit. So then I want to go into here and I want to go to that one. And we want to go to miscellaneous over here. What have we got under miscellaneous? Have I got the bit that I wanted? There is a thing there. The bee house. People have told me I should be keeping bees. I haven't kept any bees. And they have been telling me quite some time that I should be keeping bees. So that is what we're going to do. We are going to go up over here and we're going to put down a series of beehives. Well, bee houses. These are. These are houses that have a whole load of beehives in. I've seen pictures of these before, but I've never actually personally seen them. Um, I un as I understand it, this is something that is more common in Europe than it is in the rest of the world. So I want to bring you round like that. And then this lot will... You do not have enough money. Oh, okay. Fine. I don't have enough money to go and get any more of them. You are finished over here, so we can just move you out of the way and park you up somewhere. I don't quite know where it's going to go. 180,000 in construction costs for our beehives. You can just park up over here. Honestly, at the moment, I'm not too concerned about where things go. I just want to keep them out of the way. I've got a... What are you doing? Why are you working on the land work right now and not doing the outside rounds of the field? That's puzzling. Let me stop you a second. I'm going to go to there, like that. Why are you running like that? Like, you've missed a whole big section up here, and I can't quite understand why. You've actually, you, oh! From where it had to stop for the thingy being in the way, it just kind of gave up from that point, and it's carried on round. So what I'll do is I'll bring him over to here like this, and I'll carry him on from here. I will go back into there like that. We're on field work. Uh, I will switch that to next closest waypoint and 
drive course from here. And hopefully you will now be able to remember where you're supposed to be and keep going with the rest of it. Quite why it's done that, I'm not sure. Little bit of a mystery right there, but uh, I'll I'll leave him going, and I'm going to go back over to you. So we now have some more land. I don't have the land up over here yet. We're going to have to wait before we can use that bit. Uh, but we do have the land that I'm on right now. So we've got this field. We've also got that field there over in the corner. It's just the field. For oh, wait a minute. Which bit did I buy? No, I didn't buy Field 5 yet. I bought the other... I bought this bit over here. So we can... We can work on some more of this. It is it is going to take us a minute to, like, get around and do all of the bits that we want to work on. So I need to take you out right here and... Also remove that stump. And then... Those trees over there, I'm not going to bother removing that big long line of trees all the way down there, even when I do own all of that land. So we don't need to remove that tree there either. That's a placeable road down there that we can't remove, so the bit in the middle we won't actually be doing anything to. This tree here can go. And then we've got a few more going up this hill as well that we want to take out. Go on, you can do this. Got complete faith in you. I keep telling you this. I do keep telling you that I've got faith in your abilities. I don't think you believe me, but uh, I, I do. I absolutely do. Let me do that while I'm running along, and I'll throw some more wood chips out on the ground. I don't need to do that at all. There is absolutely no need for me to be emptying out the wood chips. I like to do it because it's fun. That is the only reason. Let's bring you down here and start taking out the new trees. I know I can do this. And you... Oh, back up a bit. Get you just right on here. And then we will be able to take all of this out. So I've got the little bit just up here that I went and bought. I don't want to remove that big group of trees just there. But um, it's basically just so that I can cut across the bit of road right here. Now, the whole bit of road that I've got here... A lot of that is going to end up disappearing, isn't it? Right? We're, we're going to sort of go over that. But what that's going to mean is that we're not going to have any track that will go up to that top area up there. And I know that. The big field is not really designed to be practical. It's not designed to leave the roots going anywhere at all. We're, we're not going to worry about that. It's just so that we can have as big a field as we can get. Technically, it's not as big a field as we can get. We could go even bigger than the size that we're going to go but I don't think we need to we're kind of making our point with the field that we're doing right it's it's going to be a big field we don't need to go any further overboard than what we're doing with it now I said that I didn't need to take any of this out but I would like to remove that one there and maybe the one next maybe I could take out a couple of these I don't need to do any landscaping here but just removing a couple of these does mean I could get a little bit... Um, it's just the change of position that I can bring the edge of this field up over there. That's the only reason to do this. If I take out three of these trees, perhaps. This one here and then the one right next to it. So nice, easy removals as well. I've got no issues to remove these. And then I can go and take that one out there. Chop you down. And, right, you're out of the way there. So, not going to worry about the others. Those trees there, fine. I'm, I'm going to ignore them. And we're now going to head over this way. And we're going to start work on these trees here. We've got all of these trees around this section right here. We get through these pretty quickly. I'm not going to worry about dumping out the wood chips. We'll just uh, leave them where they are. The straw is still going fine at the moment. So, hoping it is. This one's very sensitive, but it's still the best machine for the job, isn't it? That I haven't yet found a machine that can remove trees from a map faster and more efficiently than this one. And I, I would love a machine to be able to remove the trees faster and more efficiently. Like, sometimes it's nice to have the trees and to do the forestry stuff. Other times, 
you don't want the forestry stuff, do you? Like, you, you're not interested in the forestry stuff. You don't want your hand to be forced, as it were, to do forestry. All you're interested in doing, really, is just kicking back, getting the trees out of the way, and then getting some actual farming done. And having the trees in the way is just a pain. And it's not an aspect of gameplay that you want to participate in at that time. I get that. I really do. I get that sense of frustration because I get it myself. I really do. It's 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 annoying. You, all you want to do is like you want you want to do what you want to do, and you're being forced to remove these trees that you didn't want there in the first place. And it's a slow and time-consuming process. So a mod that then comes along and allows you to skip the majority of the slow, painful, time-consuming process is nothing short of an absolute blessing and a godsend. And it, it's, it's truly, truly wonderful. And that's what this thing is. So there's one that would go even faster and just allow you to pretty much just drive right through the tree. Like if I could just go like this and... Then hit a button next to the tree and it would remove the tree and the stump and everything. Just just get rid of it. Like, I'm essentially getting rid of it right now. I'm not bothering to do anything with the wood chips. I'm not saving them up. Doing anything with them at all. I'm just clearing these trees out of the way. And job done. Alright, and then we're not worrying about them. Looking at that hill up over there. Looking at that angle of the hill over on the horizon. You can see it's like looks like we've slightly we've been ever so slightly excessive with the flattening but it's it's actually it's still a reasonable curve on there right, it's just a tiny tiny little bit too much with the flattening there right in the middle so maybe that you know it would have been didn't need to be quite that much so really if you wanted to get the perfect curve you'd have to go back up and spend a little bit more time maybe flattening a bit further out or something like that i'm definitely not going to do that but that's the thing with this. <laughs> the thing with the landscaping. Right. Some bad things happened. I managed to do the... Uh, well, well the, the recording all worked and everything last time. And then I finished that and started to save the game from where we were. And it just went... Pfft, and that was the end of it. So I had to redo the last 30 minutes of, so basically most, well, the last episode and a little bit of this one. Um, so there may be some things a little bit different than you've seen just a, a few seconds. It was a few seconds ago for you. Weirdly, these always are unfolded whenever you, like, whenever you come back into the game, these are unfolded. Now, if I press fold, it unfolds. And then I fold it back up again. It does that. So I, I really don't know why it's partially unfolding itself before we get to any further along. So if I just go... And this one's done the same. I've gone and parked this one up over here. But yeah, it's gone and folded its... It's unfolded itself, but it's not even recognized that it's unfolded. I have no idea why it would be doing that. That is a... Very peculiar thing, and I, I absolutely have no clue why it's doing that. Uh, you, I want to have lowered down there like that. So I'm just going to leave the combine where it is. We're going to go back over to this one, and we've still, I've still got the courses. I've got the courses there. They're all loaded up and saved, and I'm simply going to go drive course from next closest waypoint like that. It should carry on. Around the outside of the course right here, and then it should start on the land work just in here. Coming up to the little bit of a wiggle that we got right here on the course. That seems to be doing alright as well. Yeah, so we got most of it because the tail of the tractor kicks out slightly. It seems to also pick up the bit where the tail of the combine kicks out. Now obviously it doesn't do all of it. But it's doing a pretty good job of getting most of that. So you can go on up there now. And I'm just going to watch this one. Just see how he copes with the first corner over here. And as soon as we've done that, we will then skip over to the other Zerian. And we will carry on removing some trees. We've got quite a few trees still to remove. And we've still got our field to make absolutely massive and huge. 
Now, something that I did say before was about um, giving this map, like making this map available for people to use. Uh, I want to do that. I want to force unload. Why won't you force unload? Need to... Is it going to... Should be that one. No. Why? Why? It's... It, I know why. I know exactly why. It's because it's slightly too high to reach the ground behind it. No, nope, it still doesn't like it. It's, it's ever so slightly too high to reach the ground behind it, which is why it won't force itself to unload. I'd like it to. Very much like it to, but it's, it's not going to do it. And you've got no control over that spout either. There's nothing whatsoever that allows you to control the spout on this one. So we'll... I, not that it really matters, because I'd just be dumping the stuff on the ground anyway. Right, let's uh, bring that one back out a little bit like that. And we're going to carry on removing trees. So I've gone and removed the trees there, and I've done the bit up the top again. I, I redid that. So I'm not quite sure which trees I had done last time and which ones I hadn't. So I've, I've done quite a few of the trees, and we've just got a few here in the middle of this patch still to do. And then we can go back to... Um, we, well, obviously the straw is still going. That's going absolutely fine. There's no issues with that. And mostly we want to be working on getting this big field ready. We do need some more money so that we can buy more of the big fields. And that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now, the one thing that I said about this series... Oh, wait a minute. I got distracted. Um, I said about the map and uploading it. However, I can't upload the save game on this one because the map's been quite... The, the map has been modified quite a bit, so it's probably not going to work with just the standard version of this game. I mean, it might, but uh, I, I can't see it working very well because of the modifications that have been done to the map for me in the background. So, for that reason, I don't think it's a good idea for me to upload the save game file. I think I might just leave this one out. Um, and I will... I will upload the... Uh, it's still on my to-do list. Like, this this whole, um, you know, the, the, all, all the world being locked down and everything. It's it's kind of made some big differences to uh, lifestyles all over the place, including my own. And um, things are a little bit up in the air at the minute. But I am planning on getting you the uh, Black Mountain time-lapse, the save game file, uploaded. Uh, that one was also modified ever so slightly, so the maybe that you can't access all of that map either, which is going to be a bit un. I'm really hoping that's not the case, but it might be. So, I, uh, again, I can make no promises as to whether this is going to work or not. See, I can't unload. I can't unload this at all. It's, it's, it's just not having it. Right? I can't force unload that in any way. Because this spout is just... It's pointing just a tiny fraction too high off the ground. It's only a little bit once you, you've got it tip, tipped back. And it, there's no way to actually alter it. And that is slightly frustrating. I don't like that. Now, there should be a link to this particular mod in the description. Um, and in future, I'm not going to bother putting the links in the description um, because I invariably miss some out and I might put one or two links in the description but uh, for the most part I won't be. There is now a list or there should be a list available to see on Discord. So join our Discord and you will be able to get the lists of mods that I use on the various different series. If there is a particular uh, mod that I'm using in one of the series that you can't see then please let me know and I will do my best to get it added to the list um, it's a lot easier to sort of keep on top of the list and keep track of which mods have been added and which ones still need to be added over on the discord than it is on all of the individual ones on here especially as mods change mods get updated sometimes they get removed from certain websites sometimes um, pages get pulled, websites get closed, so I can quickly change things around on the Discord a lot easier than I can on here. 
Right, that is all done on there. I think that's just about all of the trees that we want to do over here for a minute because we've run out of field, essentially. I've got more field that we want to go and do over that way. Now, I have had some people expressing a little bit of concern that we may not be able to get all of this big field planted properly. Never fear, I've already thought of that and I have another plan up my sleeve for that particular one. And I'm hoping that you're going to like it. I'm, I'm thinking that you are actually going to like the idea. Um, there is some other stuff that we've not yet used. Now, let me show you in here. We've got, if we go in here and then we go to, well, first up, we want to go to cultivators in here. Now, we've got the flexi coil, which is a 24 meter, um, a 24 meter cultivator. We've got that one here available in the game, but there should also be, well, it's not there. I thought there was another one. I thought there was a new one. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I got that bit wrong. Seed drills in here. This one should have one, shouldn't it? Uh, we've got, well, we've got that one there. We've got that massive, wait a minute. I've made a horrible mistake. I have. I'm so sorry. I've made a horrible mistake. Uh, ooh. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will be right back. Okay, I said I'd be right back. I just need to get this one going again. So we will drive course next closest waypoint. That one can go there. He can carry on again doing what he was doing. Then we can go back over to this one. And we can go in here. And now this time I should have something available. We want to go into here. We want to go up through there. That's the one that I was looking for. So we've got this one's 24 meter cultivator. And then that one is only 12. I thought it'd be bigger than that. And I love the I, I love the wheels on this one compared to the other one. The other one always seems a little bit strange with the wheels being so small on it. Um but yeah, there's um I, I honestly thought it'd be bigger than that. Only a 12 meter cultivator. I mean 12 meters is still a pretty it's just still a pretty big cultivator, isn't it? Uh, so we got that one, but then we've also got the seed drills over here. So we've got the seed hawk right there. And then with this we've got actually we've got three different ones. So we've got that one there, which is an eight meter cultivator slash um direct drill then there's that one there which is a 23 that's a 23.2 meter one this one over here is 25 meters so that one there's 23 that's a direct drill that one is also direct drill and then we've got the big boy 30.5 meter drill right here this is the one that um I'd like to actually do the planting with, if we can. That's that's the one that I'd like to use. We need 600 horsepower to pull that one. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. We've got 45,000 litre tank on there as well to go with it. But yeah, I'd like to plant the fields with that one. I think that we'll get the job done pretty quickly, planting up with that one. I, I don't think that's too bad at all. And then, of course, there was a tractor that was with this particular mod pack as well which is that one right there, the 9RX series. Now, I know that there are people that really are not fans of John Deere, and then there are people who really are fans of John Deere, and I was thinking, as this is the one that comes with the mod pack, we might use this one um, for this particular run through. So you've got a, a boost there to a 572 horsepower engine, it's a 628 horsepower 670 and then back so with 670 horsepower engine on there i think that's pretty good 670 horsepowers of engine and we've you know we can put the gps on there as well you've got standard wheels you've got the three meter wide setup on here uh, i'm assuming that's to do with the position of the row crop rather than stability. I mean, it might be stability as well. I'm, I'm not actually sure about that, what the um, reason for that. But I kind of like the idea of having the wide ones on there anyway. Um, 
So we'll probably go for those. But that's $510,000 just for that one. And then the seed drill is... How much is the seed drill? That one was also fairly expensive, I've no doubt. 331000 for the seed cart. 430000 for that one. This is a go big or go home series, isn't it? So, go big or go home means that we need to go big or go home. And we haven't gone out for that kind of massive scale yet. So that is something that I would like to do. I would like to get that epic level of scale on the map before we actually pack up. Because that was my intention right from the start, to be using the really, really big stuff. But then when we got into the map, it sort of didn't entirely fit with the map. But there we go. That's what we need to do. You kind of need to just, like, move it around a little bit so that it will come out. Um, yeah, it, it didn't fit entirely well with the map. However, we will be able to get those going for this last huge, great big field that we're going to do just to, like, finish everything off. And I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. So we, we are at least going to get some really, really big scale stuff, even if we haven't been doing it all the way through. Just get that one off there, like that. And then I'm going to take this tree here so that we can take our big long field across the entrance here a little bit. So that's the next thing that I want to do is... Like, I'm, I'm just doing this, but then we're going to start heading down across those trees over there. We've got a few of them to do along that little slope. There we go. Take that bit out. Uh, there's no more along here that I want to do. It's not really going to be beneficial to do any of them. These I do want to get rid of. That pile of wood chips there is probably going to end up being deleted when I'm doing a bit of landscaping along here. Because that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to remove these trees and then we're going to landscape uh, a line along here. So that we can extend this field out even further than what it is right now. So I'll bring you over here. If I lift that one up like that. Oh. Now it's putting them on the ground. It's just, just like dumping it straight on the ground without any trouble. No problems at all. You wouldn't think that there'd ever been any issues. I wish it wouldn't be so awkward all the time. I really do. I really, really wish it wouldn't be so awkward all the time. Uh, can I... I don't think I'm going to be able to cut that one just yet. We, some of these we may not be able to reach very easily until after we've done a little bit of landscaping to start with. But let's get up round here and get this tree at the top. That We can do that one for a start. And there's no particular rush for doing this because I've still got the... Like, we're, we're, just bring that back a bit. We're still doing the straw at the moment. So until that straw is finished... We haven't got, like, a, a tearing, screaming hurry to get all of this done. We, I mean, yeah, I would like to work my way through it as quickly as I can, but we've we've got, like, a tiny little bit of time just to allow ourselves to keep working at a steady pace rather than feeling that we've, we've absolutely got to rush through it all. But I'll tell you what I will do, just to make this job here a little bit easier. We're going to jump into this. We're going to go to landscaping. We're going to go over here. Um, he is coming back out. So he's, he's still working nicely in the field over there. And what I'm going to do here for a minute is I'm going to make that big, like that, uh, as big as I can. And then I'm going to do this. Uh, I might regret doing that over that tree stump there. Um, but just by making it a little bit more even and removing some of the undergrowth here, it is going to make life a little bit easier. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.